Right. A couple of months ago, we did a video on why calling Pele a fraud was ridiculous, and we got pretty positive feedback. A lot of you asked for more opinion-based or argument-based videos, although I should say I don't think whether or not Pele was a fraud should even be up for debate. But today we are answering those calls, and if the video does well, I'm sure there'll be more to come. Basically, I'm doing this video because I'm regularly asked either why I consider Messi to be a better footballer than Cristiano Ronaldo, and or why he has previously topped our all-time videos. I should add, for those of you who are planning on telling me how you unsubscribe because you disagree with me in the comments, I have no idea how you lasted this long. This channel is just me talking about football, so I'm sharing my opinions on football literally all the time. If you disagree, fine. Great in fact. It's a game of opinions, and it's okay to listen to, and enjoy listening to, ideas you don't agree with. So today we're going to look at seven major aspects of Lionel Messi as a player and his career, and try to justify why we consider him to be the greatest professional footballer of all time. Here are our seven reasons why Lionel Messi is the GOAT. Internationals Wait, what? It's probably what you're thinking right now, but we might as well start with the main argument used to discredit Messi's credentials as an all-time great right off the bat. Lionel Messi has never won the World Cup, and with Argentina priced at 10-1 to to win the 2022 competition, his chances don't look great at the moment. So firstly, we must start with this World Cup argument, and I'll try to be terse. The World Cup is arguably the pinnacle of the world game, and certainly the pinnacle of international football, so its hefty weighting is understandable. It shouldn't, however, be forgotten that the World Cup is only a month-long tournament which comes along only once every four years, and the other three years and 11 months in between is still pretty important. Then we come to Messi himself, whose critics accuse him of being a flop on the international stage. But is that really the case? Well, Messi is Argentina's all-time leading scorer, and he trails only Pele in terms of South Americans, which doesn't sound too bad. He scored once and had another wrongly ruled out as a teenager at the 2006 World Cup, he was named by FIFA as one of the 10 best players at the 2010 World Cup, and won the Golden Ball as the best player at the 2014 World Cup. It is true that he was quiet in 2018, although still Argentina's best player in our books, with two assists and an excellent goal, and he was in a genuinely calamitous Argentina side. All in all, it is certainly true that he has never had a completely awe-inspiring World Cup like Maradona in 86, in which he has inspired his national team to glory against all the odds. However, he has been by far their best player, at least one of the best players at multiple tournaments, and is the country's all-time leading scorer. Big Games To rank among the pantheon of all-time greats, surely you have to be able to turn on the style on the biggest of stages, and when it matters most. That is often used as an argument against someone like Thierry Henry, and in favour of someone like Ronaldo Luiz Nazario de Lima. So we thought it might be worthwhile to look at Messi's so-called big game credentials. In terms of finals, his record is truly superb. He has played in a total of 28 finals for Barcelona, scoring exactly 28 goals. Compare that to his greatest contemporary rival Cristiano Ronaldo, who many consider to be a better big game player, the Portuguese superstar has managed an equally impressive but slightly poorer 18 goals in 24 finals. We should point out that Messi's record in international finals is played 5 and scored none, but his overall record is still exceptional. Then there are big games in terms of simply being against top teams or great rivals. Messi is by far the all-time record scorer in El Clasico derbies, having scored 26 times against Real Madrid, with Cristiano Ronaldo and Alfredo Di Stefano tied in second with 18 apiece. Messi's four favourite opponents, that is to say the four teams he has scored the most goals against, read Sevilla, Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid and Valencia. Compare that to Cristiano Ronaldo, as someone who has played in the same era and predominantly the same league, his favourite opponents read slightly less illustriously, as Sevilla, Getafe, Atletico Madrid and Celta Vigo. Goal scoring. This shouldn't take as long as some of the other entries in this seven, but everyone knows Lionel Messi has a quite phenomenal goal scoring record. In the decade before Messi and Ronaldo both scored more than 50 goals in a single season, both in the 2010-11 season incidentally, those kind of numbers were thought of as having become unattainable in the modern game. Sure, there have been tremendous goal scorers from Dixie Dean to Gerd Muller, but the game had changed. Not only have Messi and Ronaldo proved those kind of numbers are possible, both have hit them regularly for the best part of a decade. Messi, in fact, has gone beyond that, setting all-time records for both the most goals in a single season and the most in a calendar year. He is the most prolific footballer of his generation, and one of the most prolific of all time, this in spite of being very unselfish in his play and rarely operating as an out-and-out centre-forward. Completeness 
The end of that last entry leads us on nicely to our fourth point, the completeness of Messi's game. From Alfredo Di Stefano to John Charles, the game's most complete players have often tended to rank among its best. Messi isn't a guy who's going to put in crunching tackles every week or beat 6 feet 5 inch defenders in 50-50 aerial balls, but in an attacking sense, he may be the most complete player in the history of the game. His talent and poise in front of goal is shown in his sheer numbers, which have come courtesy of all kinds of goals, from mazy 40 yard runs and dinks over the keeper, to simple 30 yard thunderbolts or tappings from the 6 yard box created by his exceptional movement. Messi is so much more than a goal scorer though, in fact, he has the most assists of any footballer on the planet since records began, and that's a stat that will come as little surprise to anyone who watches him regularly. Messi's touch, close control, intelligence, agility, vision, and passing are all second to none. One could make a good case for him being both the finest goal scorer and playmaker on the planet all in one. Consistency, longevity, and evolution. The truly great players maintain their form over a number of years, remain at the very highest level, and typically have to modify their game in some way to do so. Football's first global superstar, Stanley Matthews, played until the age of 50. Ryan Giggs converted from a quick and tricky left winger into a calm and composed deep line playmaker, and Cristiano Ronaldo has come in off the left flank to almost become one of a dying breed as a pure poacher in his early to mid 30s. Messi's consistency and longevity is inarguable as at least one of the top three players in world football for more than a decade, with no signs of letting up. Then we come to his evolution, and this is something which is often overlooked. The naturally simplified media narrative tends to be that the two great players of our times, one is an unstoppable machine carved out of hard work, dedication, and the relentless pursuit of greatness, whilst the other is just a born genius from another planet with magic in his feet. Both contain elements of the truth, but neither tell the full story. Messi may have a great deal of God-given talent, but anyone who thinks he has spent 10 plus years at the top without having an impeccable attitude, mentality, and drive is deluded. Take any element of Messi's game which wasn't originally world-class, such as set pieces for example. In the early stages of his career, Messi either didn't take or wasn't brilliant at set pieces by his own high standards. Today, he is either the or one of the best players in world football from dead ball situations. That doesn't just happen by accident. As well as his positional changes, which have seen him move from the right flank into centre forward, or at least more centrally, and then much deeper into attacking midfield, the weaker elements of Messi's game have constantly been improved and fine-tuned by his own dedication. Style of play Well, this feeds into his completeness, but Messi's style of play, few would argue, is an absolute joy to watch. Football is all about those moments which put a smile on your face, and rarely does 90 minutes pass without Messi doing that at least once. Exceptionally skillful and creative, Messi's style of play is another element of his game which has been developed over the years. Perhaps we see a little less flair from him these days since every touch and every movement serves a purpose. He's equally happy to beat his opponent with a nutmeg as he is a simple body swerve, whatever gets the job done. Unlike other great players who show us flashes and glimpses who you can accept making mistakes so they can turn a game on its head, virtually everything Messi does is careful, considered, intelligent and beneficial to the team. Watch his performances and goals against Bayern Munich in the Champions League and Athletic Bilbao in the Copa del Rey final, both in 2015, for vintage Messi and his style of play at its absolute best. Competition Lastly, and most importantly of all of course, to consider Messi our GOAT, what we are saying is that there has never been a better footballer than him. To do so, we must look at the other obvious candidates, although obviously we can't go into any great depth, and feel free to check out our 7 Greatest Footballers of All Time video, I'll stick a link in the video description below, for more on that. The genuine rivals for Messi's title of GOAT will be Pele, Maradona and Di Stefano, followed in a bracket just below that by the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Johan Cruyff, Ronaldo, Beckenbauer and a few others. So why does Messi beat these great players? Well, You'd have to take it on a case-by-case -case basis, but I believe he was and is more consistent than any of them, and he is more talented, purely technically, than any of them, with the possible exception of Maradona. Messi is a relentless goal-scoring machine, yes. He's also an incredibly prolific creator of goals, he contributes to multiple phases of play, he can beat a player with five stepovers, or he can split a defence in half with the simplest of passes. When you take talent, technique, consistency, longevity, and above all else sheer effectiveness all into consideration, in our eyes, no one can compete with Lionel Messi. So that's it for our 7. 
Thanks for watching, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications for more from us if you enjoyed the video, and you can now also follow us on Twitter for more ramblings from me. Our username is simply at HITC7s.